Meow. Hello everyone, my name is Swingpoint, and welcome to Super Daryl Deluxe. This is a game about Daryl. I think that's Daryl right there, actually. It promises to be weird and funny and, like I said, loaded with humor. And there's apparently a lot of story to this game. In terms of what kind of game it is, I think we're really going to discover that more than anything just by playing it. It's supposed to be like an RPG-vania. I don't even really know what that means. So if that is a genre, oops, Swingpoint the gamer doesn't know. I guess he's going to find out. Let's go ahead and just click a new save file here and see what Super Daryl Deluxe is all about. It's 20 bucks on Steam right now. Came out April 10th. I don't know that there was anything beforehand. This game does not autosave. Oh, God. Oh, wait, what? What? Huh? Okay, I can manage. <laughs> I did it before. I was alive in the 90s. <laughs> it's out on PlayStation, I think Xbox, the Switch, and PC. So, let's see what Daryl's all about. A game they tried their very best on. I feel like there's going to be a lot of fourth wall breaking in this game. We'll see. I... Oh, wow, I was expecting voice acting. Maybe there will be voice acting. I was kind of expecting voice acting. The jig is up, Detective Daryl. The trench coat kid. We got your woman. We got your textbooks. It's all over for you. How did Daryl get her? Not to be that guy, but holy man. She looks like a looker, and then Daryl's just like, oh, God. <laughs> Not so fast, trench coat. If that's your real name, you're under arrest for breaking the law. It's your jig that's about to be up. I don't know, he's kind of the one pointing the gun at you. <laughs> we'll see whose jig is up when you're busy dying. Oh, yep, sure enough, there he goes. Durr. Oh my god! <laughs> the princess, oh boy. You don't get away with this, Detective Daryl's a big I don't know if he's strong. <laughs> big strong man who ain't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining Detective Allen. See you in the hell, Detective Daryl. Poof. Wow. They got ninja skills. That's not fair. <laughs> that was my death cough. You like that? Looks like my jig is <laughs> just about toast, buddy. <laughs> I really thought we had him this time. <laughs> no use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your woman back. Just promise me you'll tell mine that... <laughs> That I won't be home for bleh, leftovers Tuesday. Wow, not that you love her or anything, just I'm not gonna eat the leftovers on Tuesday. Well, he died. Hey, I have skills. Move, duck, jump, skills. Left trigger to sprint. Left trigger, tap to dash. Boy. I'm level 44 already, wow. I guess I've been... I guess I've been... Way better at this game than I realized. Whoa, I got some massive front flippage going on here, too. So jump. All right, these are my skills. Okay, so I can zap. I can do a swift kick. And then what's this one? Toss a banana ring. And turn into... Hidukin. Okay. And that's... Okay, so that was a dash. And then holding should be sprinting. Okay, I guess I get it now. Skills I've got- Oh god, hey, I was reading the thing! Oh, they've- Okay, so I gotta use multiple skills to go ahead and like... Okay. So it's gonna be like a lot of fighting. Oh god, my kicks. Boom. 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 So you can, it's like a button mashing. Okay, and I got money off of those guys. A whole dollar. So it's gonna keep coming here? So I wonder if I can hurt them by sprinting into them. This is gonna take some getting used to though, for sure. Because the skills have in their cooldown. So you probably want to, like, time them so that they have a sense of cooldown, right? You do get health from that, though. So we're just going here. Left bumper. Let's get the noir out of here. Pretty sure this game has a lot of color in it. We're just not seeing it yet. Old warehouse. I could use an old flashlight right now. Or some old front flips. Hey, 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 you best buddy. Oh, God. It reminds me of John from... Telltale Batman. A little bit of Joker. Oh god, he kind of... <laughs> interesting. Octopal. How you doing? No need to be so gray. Yeah, I was gonna say, get some color in here, Octopal. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Allen. You were always my favorite anyway. I know. How about some textbooks to get your mind off of it? Oh. Are you 
gonna hurt me? Is that what you're planning on doing? Oh, okay, yeah, I think you're planning on hurting me. Giving you textbook sure is tiring. Don't worry, buddy. Okay, I'm not worried. Ah! Okay, so... I like my banana has color now. Yeah, this is gonna be like a lot of butt mashing and getting used to it. I'm really curious to see what the story turns into, because again, this is very tutorial-esque, right? Like, that should be very obvious. We're just kind of learning the basics here. I'm curious to see what we're getting ourselves into. It looks like they dropped money and also health, so you can take damage. It feels like you're supposed to, right? To a certain extent. I'm still trying to get the basics of how to really get a good fight going on here. I love how I like change clothes. Uh oh, buddy, here comes more of them. How about them textbooks? Yeah, they explode. Stop it. I knew I hated reading. That's why I hate books. Okay, come on. Come on. Just press all the buttons. Press them all. And then some of them, yeah, they. Hmm. So it seems like my kick's really, really strong. Quit trying to blow me up here, man. Oh, I'm actually dying here. Why was there so many people in- Oh god, I thought they were ducks! Those are just their hats! Oh god, I've been so led astray! Why is there so many ducks? God, I don't have any food, man! Okay, I got them all. Wait, don't leave yet! I was just about to promote you. I'm just super detective sound. Okay, Octopal. I like your Japanese cat looking thing here. What are those called? I think there's a certain name for those. It's not just Japanese cat. <laughs> the ones that like wave their arm up and down. I don't know what they're called. Hey, it's my girl, the princess. You want your woman back, Detective Darrow? Well, she's mine until my jig is up. Oh, God. And right now my jig is all the way up here. Come and get her, Detective Darrow. Change skills at your locker. Well, how about you get the freaking duck away from me here? Oh, okay, locker's knocked down. Skill shop. Oh, maybe I can upgrade my skills. Be even stronger. You're supposed to be able to do like 40 different things with your skills or something like that. I think is what I read. There's lots of- get down. There's lots of stuff to do here. What's in here, bruh? So I can actually- oh, okay. So it looks like I have a bunch of skills here. And I can exchange them. So maybe I do you and him. Uh -huh. So what does this one do? Full pow. Instantly toss all your enemies into the air. Sharpen the saw. I kind of like the saw though. Oh god. Okay, so wh what is this skill? Combustible something. Oh, that was my kick. Not a real big fan of the boomerang, so maybe I can change that around. And I have different things for my feet here too, so that's a quick retort. Sliding by. I don't know what I have in terms of skills and being able to use them right now. Jump to conclusions. Oh, I can teleport. That's nice. Let's try that. Pull up the old cuphead moves. And yeah, let's just see a little bit of what else we can do here. Maybe let's try it out. So you can be exchanged here. And then you can be here. And then, I don't know. How about we turn you into... Yeah! This right here. And you know what? I guess I'll get rid of my thing here to go the faux pow. Faux pow. Let's see what we can do. So I got all sorts of new skills. Oh my god! Whack-a-mole just shows up out of nowhere. That's a cool sword attack. I can like... Anakin! And then kind of miss. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Moles! Huh? Oh, I'm digging this. Okay, so yeah, you can really try to figure out combos here. It's really cool. Later. 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 <laughs> Later. Okay, we gotta go up here and make sure this guy's jig is up. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time. Actually, I'm here on time. What are you talking about? If your jig lasts that long. Okay, later. God damn it. So he has a key. Ah! Oh god, they're gonna kick my butt. Ah, moles! I wonder if there's like a smart way to do a lot of this stuff. Like, better than what I'm doing here. It's gotta be, right? I feel like a noob. Ugh. I really like that combo, though. If there's a way I could stun them a little bit longer, just be like, moles! Don't you hate it when a surprise mole comes and gets you? Get out of your textbook! Is that all I had to do? Oh wow, that actually really hurt me. Why is there so many textbooks? Why are you so afraid of textbooks? Is that all she wrote? The jig is gone. I don't care if it's up, it's just not even here anymore. Maybe we can just keep going this way. 
Maybe that's the real secret. Aha! Oh god, look at you. You're not pretty. Oh, later! Don't know what the lock was. Hey! Hello. <laughs> so how should I do this? I wonder if there's like a smart way to do this. Okay, this makes this reminds me of South Park Fractured But Whole. Part of me is like, if I do the right move, can I just win the game and end it? In South Park Fractured But Whole, you can actually beat the game like instantly. And I think what you have to do is you have to keep interrupting Cartman right ahead, right away at the beginning of the game. And if you interrupt him like a certain amount of times, he'll be like, fine, screw you, douchebag. And then he'll just end the game and then you win. <laughs> you don't experience end of the game. You just complete it right away. Because he's like, no, you want to see this beginning cutscene. Trust me, you really do. And if you keep trying to skip it, he'll, he'll bring you to the ending credits. <laughs> oh, there's a bomb. This is where the jig ends, Detective Daryl. It's just you, me, your woman, and all your textbooks in this room full of dynamite. Turn around and I won't have to blow you to hand your books straight to the moon. But take another step and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Daryl. He's serious. Oh, okay. There, there goes me. Well, that takes care of Detective Daryl. I guess this jig is up. You have to get up, Daryl. Do it for me. Detective Allen, here to save the day. Get up, Daryl. Do it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome the power of evil. <laughs> I think it's purposely being cliche right now. Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm trying. I'm, I'm tr I, don't, I don't know what you said. I'm just trying to get up. The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. <laughs> can we just rejuvenate a little faster here? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Your jig isn't up yet. I am trying. Whoa! What was that? There was something way cooler going on than just freaking coming back to life. <laughs> you did it, pal. Now solve the case like the detective you are. Okay. So, this is how it is, huh? Yeah, I should have known that the mighty detective Daryl couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. Oh, oh god, what just happened? A round of old-fashioned fish to cuffs it is! I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time, but you better hurry because this place is about to blow sky high. Are we really gonna do this? I have cool things! Oh dude, am I like badass right now or is that him? I feel- Oh my god, my hamsters! Or my moles are so crazy! Oh my god, these aren't your regular moles, man! Why are they so- Oh, I have a rhino! Where did I get a rhino from? Oh my god! Dude, 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 I gotta kill him! Oh my god, die! We're gonna blow up! The power of Rhino, I summoned you! Oh my god, it's not working. This is just not gonna blow up. Oh, reset. Okay, never mind. Take that, trench coat. You can't beat Detective Daryl. I don't have to. This place is about to blow, destroying you and all of your textbooks. And I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. You did it, Detective Daryl! Quick, untie me before the building explodes! <laughs> What's up, dude? It gives me a real Napoleon Dynamite vibe, except if Napoleon Dynamite was, like, crazy awesome. <laughs> you could do this You're kind of stuff. You're my hero, Detective Daryl. So big and strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Daryl? Are you listening to me? Daryl? Daryl! Maybe there will be voice acting. Hey! Have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Yeah, maybe there will be voice acting. Son of a bitch. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. 40 years ago. Waterfalls High School, 40 years ago. Pay attention this time, okay. And now it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. 
clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring. Do you love clubs and sports, Chad? The country. Their service and charity to the Water Falls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please, give yourselves a hand. I feel so weird right now. Good job, clubs and sports. <sighs> what a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, and all we've yet to do tomorrow? I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent, especially with every top college on Earth begging for our attendance. You know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. What is happening if right now? If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. I know we can reach whomever we wish to reach. I've been thinking. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, hold on. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately, and my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. <laughs> We've already proven we can help people help themselves locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through novel. helping themselves. You get that? that was Our a joke right there. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah, our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. A smooth, gliding escalator. or emotionally or just just in general I just feel kind of weird after all this so that's the intro to uh, Super Daryl Deluxe I guess one week ago false prophets pleasure to meet you Daryl Whitelaw my name is Mr. Roboto and I am the vice principal here as you know Water Falls High School is the finest school in the state we pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. If you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. Okay. Of course, academics are our number one priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. 
To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just make sure you have a hall pass. Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? Please don't make me answer that. Oh, study hall. Wow, that's pretty nice. One little gym in there. Yes, Daryl. That schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. I'm getting so many weird vibes here. It kinda, why do I feel like I'm in like Fallout all of a sudden? So I'm in school. This locker is yours. You'll be accessing it frequently throughout the day. Oh boy, as part of your high school- Now I'm in high school? I thought I was like- Oh god, I have friends now. Paul and Alan, this is Daryl. Is that Detective Alan? Is this 40 years ago? Oh, I get it now. I, I don't know why I look exactly the same after all these years. <laughs> See, it's easy to make friends. Have fun. I wonder if the sword guy is like the, the dude with the jig. Okay, I'm moving. Uh, who are you? I don't <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> who are you? So Paul. Oh wait, no, that's Octo Paul. Oh my God, that's not the dude in the trench coat. That's Octo Paul. How'd you turn into an octopus, Paul? Paul. You don't just turn into an octopus, Paul. Something happened, Paul. Did you take my textbooks too? Paul. What do you want? I don't know how Paul turns into an octopus, Paul. Paul? What's wrong with him? Probably the same thing with every other knuckle dragger. What does that mean? Who cares? Don't change the You're a tentacle dragger. You turn into an octopus. Don't change the subject. What about the quad? The quad? We were just there. You probably dropped it like you dropped everything else. Oh, please. I'll have you know I've never dropped anything in my life. Shut up. What are we supposed to do? It's probably been blown to the far side by now, and I'm sure his shit not going out there. Balto's in detention, so he's useless as always, and who the hell even knows where Tony is? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying to think. I just can't concentrate with that weird kid staring at us like that. It's freaking me out, man. Ugh. Hi! You must be new. My name's Paul, and this is- <laughs> Every time I say Paul, I think of Llamas with Hats. Paul- Wait, no. Not Paul. That's- Wait, no. Okay. Paul is one of the llamas. Carl is the one that- Carl! Yeah, Carl's the one that does all the destruction, but Paul is the llama that says Carl. Did you know that? It's Paul. It's a pleasure meeting you and yeah, whatever, but we're busy. Tell you what though, Alan here dropped a piece of paper in the quad earlier. If you go and get it back to us, I'll let you stand here and breathe some more air. <laughs> yeah, we'll be best friends. Could use some flowers too, so while you're at it, don't forget to pick us up some. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, we do need flowers, don't we? Yeah, we do. So, uh, the, the piece of paper and the flowers in return for our friendship. And don't, don't wander too far into the far side of the quad. The principal is really strict about that. Okay? You got it? Okay. Got it. Great. So get to the quad from the main lobby. Off you go. And now I can move again. Except I don't have a whole lot of skills other than, like, ducking down real low. So this has been the intro. Interesting. You pause, Daryl. This is the intro of Super Daryl Deluxe. Lots of stuff to look at here. Lots of really interesting things going on. I oh, it's Abby. Hi, Abby. I like the art style a lot. This is really cool. I'm the storytelling is interesting so far too. So I was super expecting voice acting, and then they didn't give me any, so I was really sad. And then they turned into like some really interesting cutscenes with a lot of voice acting. Probably doesn't mean too much to you if you play it on your own, but for me, when I'm doing Let's Plays, I like having the story told to me. <laughs> Big deal to me. So, like I said, 20 bucks on Steam. I don't know what it costs on the Switch, but it's on multiple platforms. $20 on Steam for sure, though. And it seems cool. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe we'll stream it. Maybe we'll do more YouTube videos. Let me know, let me know, let me know in the comments. Like I said, go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. But most importantly... Hopefully I'll see you guys around here in future videos. Go ahead and sub if you haven't already. And then without further ado, I'll see you guys yeah. in the next video. Bye-bye.